hey guys how you doing i hope you're doing great in this video we are going to connect our gmail with n18 i saw many people are facing problem when connecting gmail with n18 so in this video i'm going to explain everything how you can connect your gmail and your google drive with n18 you have to connect it manually that's why it's a little bit of trickier but no worries, I will explain everything in simple words. So this is our N8 dashboard. From the dashboard, go to credentials. Then select add your first credential and search for Gmail. Select Gmail OAuth to API and select continue. Now we have to enter our client ID and client secret ID. As you can see here on the right side, we have our tutorial how you can connect it. So let's do it a step by step. First of all, we have to set up our Google Cloud account. So go to Google Cloud. You have to create a new Google Cloud account if you don't have any. So click get started for free. Then enter your details. Click start free. And now you have to create a payment profile. So let's create a payment profile for individual. I'm using this Google account for my automation learners community. But in this term, I'm going to use my actual name. And now you have to enter your state address and the details it's looking for. Now create your payment profile. Now click start free. Again, you have to enter your credit or debit card. After adding your payment card, let's click start free. If you are connecting your card for the first time, then you might need to verify your card. After verifying your payments, you have to answer some questions. After completing every step, you will be here and automatically you will have your first project created. So let's go to the first project. You can see your project is here. And if you need any other project, then you can click here add new project. In this term, we are going to create another project that will say our project name like let's name it like this n 10 gmail and g drive api now create it may take a few minutes to creating your project after complete creating select your project now you are in your google cloud project dashboard let's go to our n 10 documentations now we need to go to google cloud console slash api and services let's go to the dashboard and here api and services and let's select enable api and services click this button enable api and services and search for gmail then select gmail api and go to gmail api and enable this api go back to your library again search for google drive and select google drive api also enable this too again let's get back to our tutorial now we have to create our credential and inside the credential we need to create a OAuth client id let's go to our dashboard again from this page select OAuth consent screen and select external and click create now let's give your app name give your email address permission give your developer contact information in this term we can use the same email address now click save and continue now we need to select our scopes click on this button arrow remove scope and search for gmail from this list you can select whatever you need so if you need to read compose and send email from your gmail account then you can select this one if you want to delete all of your emails from your gmail then you can select this one if you want to edit your email levels you can select this one if you want to send emails on your behalf then use this one like this whatever you need then you can read it and select that api i'm going to give all the permissions then search again google drive from here again you can select whatever you need so i'm selecting everything and then click update now you have all the scopes we need to use your google drive and gmail now click save and continue now you need to add a test user add yourself as a test user click save and continue again click back to dashboard now our OAuth consent screen has been successfully configured now let's go to credentials click create new credentials select OAuth client id select the application type web application name your web application now click this button authorized redirect uri and go back to your credential page in 
an item and copy this OAuth redirect URL. Go back to your dashboard and paste the URL here. Now select create. Now, as you can see here, we, you have got your client ID and client secret ID. Copy both of them and paste client ID here and secret ID here. All right, after giving the client ID and client secret ID, now click on this sign in with Google button. Select your Gmail account where you have created your client ID. Now you have to click continue and then select all the permissions that you have given and select continue. Now, as you can see here, we have the notification that since got connected, the window can be closed now. Close it and now your Google account has successfully connected. I hope this video will help you to connect your Google account with N8N N. and if you have any question, please leave a comment. I will try to help you. Also, if you want to connect with me, you can join my school community. We are building the biggest automation learners community where you will get all of my templates and my premium course for make.com and n And also you will get a lot of benefits like hundreds of thousands of verified email. All of them is a script from apollo.io. Again, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Until then, keep creating.